Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm leading you through a super quick lower body workout that you can do absolutely anywhere, requires zero equipment. We are gonna be doing lots of squats and lunges, so please make sure you've warmed up. I've linked my lower body warm up in the description down below, so go do that first. Then come back here. Like I said, you don't need any equipment, just make sure you have something soft beneath you. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start off with a series of squats. Your first exercise is just gonna be a regular body weight squat. Then your second squat, you're gonna pulse at the bottom and come up. Here we go, 30 seconds. When you come up, make sure you're squeezing your glutes, but you're not squeezing your glutes to where you're pressing your hips forward. You're gonna keep your body slightly angled forward, ground in those feet and squeeze the glutes. Next up, we're gonna add a rise, so we're not gonna take a rest. So coming down and then all the way up, stretching those legs all the way up on the toes. Down and up. Next up, without a rest, we're gonna come down into a squat and we're gonna hold. And we're gonna just breathe in this position. Make sure that your bum is down nice and low in line with those knees. You can have your hands out to the front. You can have them by your fingertips or by your ears. <laughs> 15 more seconds. Good, shake them out. We're taking a 15 second rest. Next up, we're gonna do some reverse lunges. Again, we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side without taking rest in between. So you're gonna stick with the same leg for the first 30 seconds, stepping back into your lunge. Same thing, body angled forward. Hinge point is this glute, press through your supporting heel to stand up. Getting ready to switch sides. Nice job, shake it out. We're gonna continue with reverse lunges, except this time we're gonna add a kickback, squeezing our glute in between. So, stepping it back, hit this lunge position, transfer all the way into this supporting leg, squeeze this glute, pop it back down to your lunge, back to center, other side, step it back, kick it up, down, and center. Make sure you really squeeze and hold when you do that kickback. Make sure you really feel it in that glute. Press through your supporting heel. Nice job, 15 second rest. We're gonna do some side lunges next. So stepping it out nice and wide, you're gonna make sure that you're sitting back into your lunge, keeping your chest lifted and sitting into your heel. So coming down and up, really press through that glute other side. 
Press through that glute, squeeze those inner thighs together as you come up. Try not to let this knee come inward, keep it out pressed over top of the outside of that foot. Nice job on the ground. We are gonna do a series of glute bridges without rest in between. So regular glute bridge, single leg glute bridge, other leg, then we're gonna go back to both feet on the ground doing a pulse. So here we go, just regular glute bridges. Press it up, squeeze, weight is in those heels. Remember, we're not arching our back as we do this. We are gonna lift one leg and do a single leg glute bridge now. Your leg can either be straight or it can be bent. Same thing, you're sitting your weight into that supporting heel. Ready to switch sides. both feet on the floor. You're gonna press your hips all the way up. You're gonna come halfway, about halfway down, and then press it back up. So the booty does not touch the floor here. Squeeze those glutes. All the way up. Nice job. All right, we are almost there. Next up, you're gonna do a curtsy lunge into a narrow squat. So you're gonna come back, this leg steps back on a diagonal, sitting into your heel as you come through center. Feet are narrow, so about shoulder width apart, toes facing forward. Then we come to the other side, step it back. And together. Come on guys, push through. Nice job. Shake it out. We're gonna do a sumo squat with a rise next. So feet are a little bit wider than regular squat stance and toes pointed outward on a diagonal. Sitting all the way down into your squat, using these glutes, coming up, then from here, rising down and up. Stretch those legs all the way at the top. Squeeze, squeeze those inner thighs together. Mind, mind, mind. 
All right, last minute of this workout. You're gonna absolutely hate me and I do not take it personally, but we're gonna do some jump squats and then I'll let you know what we're gonna do for our second half of this. So we're gonna do jump squats. Just push through, 30 seconds. Here we go, down and up. Good, I'm giving you two seconds to shake out those legs. We're coming down into a squat and we're holding. Coming into a nice meditative state here, just breathing. You could also take it a little bit wider if you want and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, Woo. and that is it guys. Shake out those legs. Make sure you do a proper cool down. I have a leg day specific cool down that is also linked in the description. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you made it through in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.